All right, everyone. So now we're going to go over a more uh, a kind of an unusual case. Uh, this is a patient, young adult male, who had uh, some blunt force trauma to the pelvic region, specifically the area kind of between uh, where the, the base of the penis meets the scrotum. So here's an axial view of the penis from the dorsal uh, part or from the top part. All right, here we have the corpus spongiosum highlighted. And below that in the image on the left and right of the image, you can see the bilateral corpus cavernosum. You can see uh, there's a cystic area there, and that's not supposed to be like that. So this is in sagittal. There you go. You can see the, the cystic area again uh, with color Doppler. Wow, what's that? You see a little yin-yang sign which is usually a sign of something. All right, so Doppler distally to the cystic lesion that's uh, pulsatile and filling with color. All right, you have some turbulent flow there. Within it, you have some turbulent flow as well, kind of a to and fro pattern, not too much, but you know about 60 centimeters per second. Then on the other side of that, the proximal region, which would be the proximal cavernosal artery or the pudendal artery, uh, the velocity is above 200 centimeters per second, so elevated. All right, here's a sweep through from proximal to distal or distal to proximal. And you can see the changing of the waveform. And here is a clip. In real time, you can see that there is fluid being pumped into there and swirling around. And that's what gives that typical yin-yang pattern. So this turned out to be a pseudoaneurysm of the pudendal artery or the proximal cavernosal artery. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. See you later.